You've heard us say it before, but the first thing you should do when you pop into any town is visit the information centre. Absolutely. Not only do they have a list of all the local attractions in the town and in the area, they can also help you out with the services. Who knows? Your car or van might need repairs, you might need to see a doctor, and the information centre has exactly that. Information. Oh, genius by you. And the kind folk at the Information Centre sent us straight across to Rocky's Hall of Fame, named after country music legend, the late Dean Rocky Page. Our convoy crooner, Ron Sinclair, was given the task of finding out more. Chris, how, how important was Rocky to Australian country music? Well, he was one of the early uh, pioneers, like with Slim Dusty and Reg Lindsay, and they used to tour together. Rocky was a musician in his own right and an entertainer and um, he also had a school of music here in the Riverland. And from that school of music he started our country music festival. Officially opened by his mate Slim Dusty in 1995, this place is awash with music memorabilia. There is literally thousands of exhibits that will make your heart sing. Rocky's whole idea was to promote young people yep. and to uh, keep the industry going. The Hall of Fame features a wall of fame and Ron is doing the hard yards to get a Guernsey. Now I see you've got lots of pictures of famous musicians around the walls and now that we're, we're good buddies, there's a bit of a space up there. Do you reckon you could get my photo up there? You reckon? Can you? Oh, I hardly know. <laughs> <laughs> Outside there is a massive monument to music in the shape of a 135 metre guitar. It's inspired our gang to belt out a tune. And it's you Pulling me back to the ground And it's me Screaming but I can't hear a sound Screaming but I can't hear a sound 